Mr. Kimball, how do you feel about the uh, negative stigma around mental illness in Sijiu High School? I haven't really noticed one, but it's a general pervasive thing around the country. Unfortunately, I think it stops some people from getting treatment because they might not want to address it. Um, I also worry that it would impact how people respond to mental illness. So maybe teachers might not be as willing to accommodate um, because they can't really grasp it, it's not tangible. Um, and kids might not know when to advocate for support because it's just not fully understood. Well, people that, like when people hear mental illness, they, they think, oh, that person's crazy. I think in the SHS community, it ostracizes students from their peers. I think it can actually ostracize students from seeking out help if they think that it is wrong to seek out help, even if it's just going to a teacher with a question, even if it's just going down to guidance with a question, and they feel that they are in the wrong, that there's something inherently wrong with them. I think most of what I've seen is not intentional. I think a lot of it comes from misunderstanding and false perceptions of, of what having a mental illness means for a person. Have you witnessed stigma at Situate High School to the to the, anybody with mental illness? No, not really. Are you lying right now? Well, maybe. I've never like seen it. Me either. I think it means that a lot of kids, and I, I'm gonna act my I used to say kids, but a lot of people in the SHS community um, find themselves hiding either who they are or what they're struggling with. And they find themselves having to almost like split into multiple people. You have the person that you show to other people, that's the okay version. And then you have the more real version that's struggling with people that you can then like share it with your friends. So I think it, it makes things more stressful and it takes more energy. Um, just to deal with because you're instead of being you or like trying to be a you that's being better you're dealing with your public face and your private face and all the faces in between. Oh, um, at SHS, I don't know. Personally, I don't have much experience with um, the stigma of this, but I mean, take depression for instance. Um, you'll hear words like depressed and anxious thrown around like quite a lot around mm -hmm. here when actually it means quite a bit more. Uh, what do you think about the negative stigma around mental illness? Um, I think that um, it's not always negative, that some of the students here um, do a good job of hiding it when they have depression or anxiety. Um, and then we have, um, so we have two sides of that. I think when you're talking about special needs kids, that's more outward. We know that they have certain issues. Um, maybe because of the way they're grouped with the class or something. And I think the students are very tolerant of, of those, of the students in our special needs program. I think when it's individual, it's much harder because most people aren't open about it. They're not gonna say to the class, to the teacher, I'm highly depressed. And that's why it's a hard disease because it's not outward. We don't know it. I think, unfortunately, that uh, individuals who struggle or suffer with mental illness or people who have family members or, or loved ones or friends that do, it can certainly negatively impact their experience. I think for those who struggle with it themselves, it can be maybe, um, maybe an inclination or a tendency to kind of keep it to themselves for fear of disclosing what they're struggling with um, because of maybe some negative, negative um, you know, feedback they would get from people, and some of some of that could be from people who maybe have been diagnosed outside of school and don't want to maybe bring into the school. But in general, for others, maybe people who are struggling with stuff that they don't want to reveal to anyone mm -hmm. for fear of being uh, criticized or judged. Uh, I think the negative stigma is damaging. Uh, it's very upsetting. I feel that people who have it often feel ostracized and unwanted and, un and uh, unworthy, which is just incredibly wrong, and I do not like the fact that that is happening to people. That's, that's just wrong. That's just the flat out, it is wrong. Well, I think it's unfortunate that there's any stigma at all that's associated with it. I think you know, it's probably a product of our society and maybe lack of education that creates the stigma. 
Uh, how many mental illnesses can you name? Um, do you want me to name them, like list them out? Depression, anxiety, uh, schizophrenia, bipolar. General anxiety disorder, um, chronic depression, uh, BPD, um, bipolar disorder. Uh, anxiety? I like 10. Okay. Do you know many people with a mental illness? Uh, I know a couple people, yeah. My cousin has a mental illness. She has borderline personality disorder. I don't. How many people do you know with a mental illness, if you know any? Um, oh, I definitely know. Um, probably... I mean, at, at least 30. I mean, wow. um... Yeah, I know uh, throughout my life people I've grown up with, family members, um, certainly loved ones, students that I've worked with, um, very, prof very successful professional people. I think that um, lots of people struggle with some of, the, some of those that I mentioned and, and others, and um, a lot of people, I think, folks would be surprised to know what they struggle with, because I think most, if not all, I, I would say all, um, mental illnesses with proper support and, um, <clears throat> yeah, with the proper support can be can be certainly dealt with and overcome and people can be successful and so I think there's a misunderstanding around that as well. How many people do you know with a mental illness? A handful, probably like five. Yeah, I'd say five. Uh, do you know what stigma is? It's like a pre-positioned like, opinion on something. Yeah. Do you know what stigma is? No. Stigma? Uh, yeah, it's like a negative connotation, kind of, sort of. Yeah, basically. Do you know what stigma is? No. It's a, a mark of disgrace associated with a particular circumstance. So there's a lot of negative stigma around mental illnesses um, because people are very uneducated. Um, what do you think we can do in situ to end mental illness? End mental illness stigma? It's just like anywhere else, you have to spread awareness. People need to realize that, you know, a lot of us wandering around probably have it, but you can't see inside someone's head, you know, how well they carry it is one thing, but um, it just needs to be made aware of. Like anything else, raise awareness. So put out there statistics about what mental illness is, who's impacted, who's affected, how it changes and improves when treatment's provided and how it increases in significance when treatment's not provided and just show that it's worth putting preventative measures in place and you don't want to avoid it. Um, just like talk about it more. Don't be afraid to talk about mental illness. Um, don't, like there's sort of like this big shadow over it and that people sort of associate it with like weakness or um, just like fear of like the unknown because a lot of um, a lot of it's like unknown. You don't want to be identified with a mental illness, so just talk about it more, become more comfortable with it. Yeah, definitely, just more education about it. I think raise awareness for it in particular. Like have people that maybe are mentally ill and have them speak and show that it's not really all as terrible as it's cracked up to be. Yeah, I think I think edu <laughs> education. You know, I think um, it used to be um, like no one talked about breast cancer; it was a big secret. But then people started to admit that they had it; and it wasn't a shameful thing. And then there's more research and more awareness and understanding. And then those people were able to be in the mainstream and be treated and healthy and all that. So I think the more people understand what's out there, and I think also it's hard um, to learn to talk about uncomfortable things in a respectful way. Um, so I think that's a big thing. If you can help people to know that it, it's challenging, but it's not, um, it's not a nasty, terrible, deep, dark, secret thing. It's like, this is okay, this happens, uh, and then we can deal with it. Um, who? How a can roughy. we? Right, because I'll create something from. Um, I think, there are a couple, I mean, the fundamental way to solve almost any stigma is to normalize it. And by that, to begin understanding at a, real, at a very, I'm gonna start that sentence again because I'm okay. trying to find a word. 
Um, in order to not have a stigma, you need to understand on an elemental level that like mental illness is an illness, right? It is the same thing as the flu or Lyme disease in that um, people aren't walking into their lives hoping to have it. And so they shouldn't be punished or isolated for having what happens to them. And so how do you do that? I think you get those people who are struggling with mental illness um, need to be people we see. So like they need to be um, role models in both um, individual like class and life experiences and in media. You need to see people who are recovering and continuing to recover from it to understand that, hey, um, mental illness is not just um, that like mental illness is something that can be managed and worked with and um, that there is some both level of hope and normal to those people who like might seem completely um, fine to people who don't know what's going on and just like have therapy and medications in place. Um, so I think like the big, so the short version of that is the way you make it normal is you allow, you build forums and allow um, spaces for those people to be seen as who they are, to kind of avoid the reward system that's inherent in having to hide who you are and like understand that like if you admit like, hey, I have general anxiety disorder, that that's not a life ending, social killing mark of death, but just a reality of life that this person um, and any other person with the condition can go on to do great things despite. Yeah, I think, I think it's important in an effort to make everyone in the school community and everyone on this planet feel comfortable, I think, I think as much as people, as, to the extent that people can educate themselves and um, yeah, do, do a lot of research on their own and, and find out the truth about what these mental illnesses are and what they involve and, and people's ability to persevere and, and live with them in a, in a successful way, I think that will, the, the less ignorance that exists, the more that stigma will be you know, eradicated. I think a lot of stigma comes from lack of information or ignorance and so as people try to educate themselves, uh, I think we'll see the, you know, the ignorance and the stigma go away. All right, thank you, Mr. Duffy. You're welcome. I think that, um, excuse me. Yes. Ellen, I'm sorry, I'm just being interviewed. How you doing? Oh. <laughs>